February 21st, 2015, the citizens of Erie, Pennsylvania find themselves in the grip of a harsh and unrelenting winter. On the snow-capped campus of Mercyhurst University, single-digit temperatures lay havoc to the Carolyn Herman Student Union when, at approximately 3 p.m., a water main ruptured, sending a river of icy water surging through the beloved building. With the flood quickly rising, Louis the Laker, from his home in the basement of the Union, sprang into action, driven by his old mariner instincts to quell the violent waters. In a flash, Louis channeled the courage and persistence of his Lakers, fighting valiantly to contain the rising tides. Sadly, we lost Louis that cold February day in the flood's torrential depths. And although the damage to the Union was extensive, his quick thinking and bravery in the face of insurmountable odds helped preserve our Union and kept the waters from saturating even more of our campus. Nearly six months later, with our beloved mascot gone, the university sits poised on the dawn of a new era. With President Victor at the helm, Mercyhurst begins the search for a new figure, someone who can match the relentless enthusiasm of our students, someone who can stoke the flames of Laker passion and tradition, someone who can step into Louis' shoes and write the next chapter in Mercyhurst's spirited history. From the rocky shores of the Emerald Isle, he sails, stalwart of the seas and friend and admirer of the Laker spirit. Born in Dublin, he grew up on Lower Bagot Street, just down the way from Catherine McCulley's first House of Mercy. Since his days as a youngster, he's esteemed the dedication and fortitude of the Sisters of Mercy, traits he's honed during his time as a fisherman sailing the Irish Sea. Like his uncle Louis, he bleeds green and blue, and now he's decided to permanently anchor his ship and follow in Louis's footsteps, ready to cheer on our student athletes and do all he can in support of Mercyhurst pride. After all, it's in his genes, and he's had some pretty impressive role models along the way, some even more spirited than he. Well, Luke, you're qualified, you've got the job. Are you ready to engage us with uh, Laker pride? Good, Luke. Well, we want to welcome you on board, and we want to make sure that uh, you ring this cowbell. You see, Luke, we have a bell in Garvey Park that we ring every time we win a home game, and we expect you to keep up that tradition. So, welcome aboard, Luke. <laughs>